Yes. This time it worked. All right. Oh. All right. For now, it is currently working. Um, we were inside. Well, as far as we know. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got to click back on here. My uh -oh. OS is certified bug free. Failed to load. Failed to load module. No. Where am I? Refresh chat. And we're back. Are now we? We are. Are we? I wonder if we launch the Witcher ad. It's not letting me. I mean, uh, we're back on Twitch. I'm still having technical difficulties on my side because it's not loading Apparently, my chat. Sort of. Kind and of I can't. Maybe? And I can't hit refresh. It's just It's just completely failed to load the the chat on here. Um. Are we back up? You're not. I haven't moved. We are back. Ross isn't a ghost anymore. But my chat is not loading up on my stream. And then Ragged inspired. Again. It's okay. That's why I have my phone. I know, but I can't read anything. <laughs> also, I should just be able to hit this. I should just refresh the chat. But no technical difficulties. All right. Well, I'm going to continue on. We were in the process of talking to this kid here. Oh. Sorry. Move that back over. Uh, see, I told you he's real. Yeah, he's a pretty, pretty decent guy. He gave me his mus mustache here. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Thank you. You're no, welcome. this is just what we. This is just what we do. It's fine. You're welcome. The kid happily sticks the mustache to his. Oh, how do I look? Mossy. This is the best day of my life. The kid takes your sash, pins another badge onto it, and hands it back to you. Um, one muscle, one mystically, one moxie. You can. No, use... trust me. It's 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 okay. okay. It's it's totally okay. <laughs> I, you're gonna have to be in charge of that because I this don't know. Is, this has been a long-standing tradition. Uh, we got one kid left, I think. Hey, oh no, we got him! Hey, I caught the Chubinaraja you were after. Chubinaraja. Well, Chubinaraja. Well, nearly. I had to tussle with it a bit. Got the job done though. Wow, that's great! Now we have real proof for why there aren't any oranges in the swamp. Uh, sure. Anyway, here's its nostril. Neat. I'll wear it as a ring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, don't go near the part of the swamp for a while. It was real mad. I think we got everything that we can yeah, we get did. out of it. Yeah, 35. Oh. Oh, well. I guess we can probably feed him some sardines if we get some more. Possibly. I'm, like, double-checking. Now, since I can't see the chat, I just have to look at the, the stream. And you saw the mustache was bad. There we go. Wait, he sticked a used, maybe bloody moss mustache on his... Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He I can, sure did. I can't read the chat, so she's going to have to verify that. Uh, so we still have... Yeah, put the sash on. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, now while we're wearing the sash. While you're chatting, I already oh, did. Oh, you know what? We might need it to talk to Boris. I'm trying to talk to Boris the cat now. Yeah. Oh. New cat unlocked. Now pet Boris to receive a boon. Spooky armor. Oh, because the boon also goes away per day. Yeah, and we it didn't does. Pet, and we didn't pet, um, um... We didn't pet Calliope. No. Alright, so we still have... Jesus, we still have Feldman's Quarry, Haim Quarry, and the Dauphin House. Work on the quarries? I don't know. Sure. All of a sudden, you hear a gator man screaming wildly to your left. Ah! And then just as suddenly, another gator man starts screaming to your right. What the? You hear an angry snarl behind you and turn around. Another gator man! Oh no! Oh yes! And you hear someone say, ugh, behind you. So you turn around again. There's another gator man. You're surrounded. Well, crap. <laughs> That's fantastic. Stand very still Fight and... them! Stand very still and hope they leave. Take his face off. Nope. They do not leave. Well, they do eventually, but not Okay, that was my fault. I should have just fought him, but still. I was like, what happens if I do that? Also, I have a lot of moxie, so that's not the worst thing. 
The dump truck sits behind or beneath the chute, patiently awaiting the day of its dump. Yum. Dump units, polish, pound, crush, reload. We can close this, get a little more experience. Hey, hobo code. It's 14. Yeah, we Is this thing? That much. Oh, I wanted a cat creature. Um, oh, a cat girl creature. This rock is wearing sunglasses. not T Rexes. This rock is wearing sunglasses. Okay. The rock has an X paint on for some reason. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Oh. Slabs of rock. Okay, so we crush it. Lever won't move while the machine is loading. Okay. Polish. Okay, pound. Grinding and whirring noises. Polish. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I guess you can't polish something that's already smooth. Ka-chunk. Gravel in the machine isn't the right size for Rasmussen's purposes. Oh, that's right. We have to build a runway. Right. Okay, they needed three... What did it say? We needed three centimeters? Um, I suppose... One point nine five. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. It's the it's like the uh, the the pickle. Yeah, it's like the pickle one from it's like the pickle puzzle from West of Loading. Seventeen. Okay. All right. What it need to be three. Three. Six. I pound it again. None. Okay. Okay. Okay, so 52. So let me see. If I crush this twice, this will disappear, right? Five. Polish. Polish. Damn it. Units. 1.56. Needs three centimeter rods. Yeah, she does. Okay, so go ahead, reload. <sighs> Interesting. That don't work either. Is a mess. There was a puzzle like this in Mass Effect Two, if I remember correctly. Oh uh, no. Interesting. Well, now it's in inches. Oh, I see. That changes that. Units. Yeah. Okay. So you need, you need, you need metric units. Centimeters. Okay. Forty-one. Twenty-four. Nine. Nine. Damn. Uh, too much. Okay. okay, so let's see what each of these do. So, I, I did have it in the wrong setting. It was the dory used to cut off the geth landing in... Or the geth landing in the tower. Oh, that's the first one. No, wait, yeah, it was Mass Effect 1. Yep, that's where you had to cut the arm in half. Okay, so it's 52. Pound does 11. Mm -hmm. That does 18. 4... Polish it, polish it, polish it. Three. There you go. Really? You don't even know who this truck belongs to. You're just gonna steal it? You know it's a crime, right? I'll bring it back. Hmm. Well, you promise? Either yes, I promise, or yes, I promise. Sheesh. Yes, I promise. E. Okay, then. As long as you promise. Come on, come on, let's go. Hello again, Rhonda. Hi. Uh, I got your macadam, madam. Say, those are some good-looking rocks. Nice find. Okay, oh. give me a hand spreading these out and tarring them up. The two of you spend some time setting up a makeshift runway. It's hard, dirty work, but it beats dealing with fairies and fishermen and the rest of the bonkers nonsense you've been getting up to. Good, good. That'll do nicely. 
Well, nice is maybe over-complimenting it, but it's good enough. Great. Okay, what's wrong with your fuel? When I landed, the fuel tank got full of swamp water. Which, I don't know how well versed you are in the chemistry of aircraft fuel, but... Not good for it. Not good for it. So I siphoned the tank dry. Figured it wouldn't be that big a deal since I got a can of backup fuel. Let me guess. That's full of water, too? Ain't nothing so bad that it can't be a little bit worse. Can that be fixed somehow? Well, technically, yeah. It just needs to have the water distilled out of it. I don't have anything like that kind of equipment, though. Huh. Maybe I can dig something up. That'd be great. Any basic distillation setup should do the trick. It ain't rocket science, just airplane science. That's a much slower kind of science. Here's a can. <sighs> Distiller. Moonshiner. Yeah. Moonshiner Shack. Uh, let's go to the ham quarry really quick. Definitely a door. Specifically a shuttle bay down in the Exogeny Tower on Pharos. That's right. Yep, yep. Hi? This guy seems a bit... Um... Uh, hi there. Wait a This might seem... <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. This seems like... This might seem like a strange question, but do you know anything about a curse? Ribbit. Your attitude says no, but your everything else says yes. Okay. Mess hall. This is either a guy who thinks he's a frog or the soul of a frog trapped in the body of a... Excuse he me. hopped away. I know, I didn't... <laughs> trapped in the body of a guy or a really good method actor rehearsing, or rehearsing for Toad of Toad Hall. Got... I excuse me. Ribbit. Have you seen any cursed frog idols around? He sticks his tongue out as a fly buzzes past and seems confused and disappointed by its length. Oh boy. Okay, good luck. Ribbit. <laughs> uh, let's look at the foreman. Oh, you need to go. It's 1 a.m. for you. Who's that? Lastest Darkness. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's England. Oh, no kidding. I think. Okay. Two hours ahead of us. Well, thank you so very much for being here. We you got to, glad you got, to have you. You got to meet last. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Uh, okay. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. We hope to see you soon. Yes, we do. This man doesn't look very happy to <laughs> be a frog. I'm trying to keep up with or him. Or the other way around, or whatever. Hang on, I have to fire Fenragon again. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, you're from Brazil. Okay. Oh, okay. No kidding. My bad. I'm nice. sorry. Nice. That is that is in that time zone. So okay. You shall see us another day. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Ribbit. Nice suit. You look like a fancy guy. Ribbit. I guess you basically won the frog lottery, huh? Ribbit. Okay. Okay, indeed. It's a book full. It's a bookshelf full of books. Ooh, advanced scowling. Hmm. Okay, let's try it. <sighs> let's see. Grit teeth. Heal target for 5 HP. A guide to produ productive frowning. Okay. Really up your frowning game, not that there's anything fun about anything. Grit teeth. The back page has a bunch of exercises for strengthening your frowning muscles. All 438 of them, according to that old adage. Upgrade. Okay. <clears throat> you go through the exercises. It's a lot of work, but you end up with the tautest frowning muscles you've ever seen. Makes you want to smile, but you can't anymore. Grit teeth has been upgraded. You test your newfound abilities by frowning at the book until it bursts into flames. Damn. If looks could kill, they did. Painting of a safe. Is that meant to be reverse psychology? Is it this thing again? Maybe. You push the painting aside and find, surprise, a safe. Unfortunately, it's a key type safe and you don't have the key. Not that a combination lock would have been much better, but you could have just twiddled your or twiddled the dial and hoped to get lucky. Okay. That's the mess hole. And a gun. And Bess. Some papers and stuff, but none of it seems significant to you. Alright, how does best do? Uh, 
Moxie there we plus are. five physical damage, so. You are almost there, Miss Ma'am. Personnel uh. files. You give the pa or the files a quick rifle through. They tend to be very thin. People who were hired and then quit real fast. There's only a handful of current records, and they aren't very interesting. Alrighty. Alright, so we got we got the mess hall key. So now we can go here. And you got Bess. Which isn't uh, which isn't as good as my symbol. As advertised, it's a mess. Ha. Okay. From the looks of the crust on these dishes, the food here wasn't very good even before it spoiled. Hmm. This range doesn't even have a gas line connected to it. I guess you could warm something up to room temperature. Looks like these people got so hungry they started eating the cabinet doors. I got a fuse and the comfy hat lining, so that means the next building's gonna have a missing fuse. The bunkhouse. This lady seems real nervous about something. All of the way she's hopping around on the floor makes it difficult to judge her body language in a regular way. Hi, uh, ma'am. Ribbit. Can you tell me, uh, can you communicate to me in some way other, anything about a curse? Ribbit. Oh, jeez. Please don't do that thing with your neck. Ribbit. Okay. <laughs> hey, remember those frogs that we met last time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, huh, there's only one bed. The S on that bunk sign must have been a typo. Some cruel soul turned this radio to static and then walked away. Okay. Presumably these lockers are where the employees keep their personal possessions. Yeah. That frog lady's watching and seems real agitated. Better leave him alone. Okay. So I guess I have to help them first. Hi! Ribbit. If I asked you if you were a frog trapped in a man's body, would you have any way to answer that question that I would be able to understand? Ribbit. I guess I don't know what I was expecting. Ribbit. Oh. Okay. Judging from the smell and the thick cloud of flies, this is not a place for a good time. Let's not go back there unless you really have a good reason. It's a crude but large statue of a frog. It looks pretty old. It has a single glowing emerald eye. Hey! Don't touch that! Uh, uh talking, uh, man? That's right, I'm a human man and not a frog at all. I have reason to believe that you're actually a frog in a man's body somehow. Well, it's my body now and I'm keeping it. I don't need any dry skin leg walkers coming in here and holy hop, you got the missing eye. This big emerald? Yeah, I was just noticing that it looks an awful lot like the other one. Okay, I absolutely need you to step away from that statue right hopping now. You don't want me to fix it? It looks pretty important. It's very important. It's an ancient idol of the frog god. And when the humans blasphemed against it by removing that eye, this particular human right here, I might add, they were cursed with the great croaking one's fear righteous fury. Oh, so that's why all the people here and the frogs in that bog nearby. Yeah, you guessed it. It's the old Freaky Friday routine. How would they know about Freaky Friday? I don't know what that I don't know what that means. Forget about it. The point is, the humans did the crime, so now it's the frog's time to shine. And if I put the eye back. If you put the eye back and undoes the curse, yeah. Oh, hop, I must maybe shouldn't have told you that. Those frogs, uh, people, really want their body backs. Well, so hop and what? Hop them. Jeez, man. Look, take your inherent pro-human bias into account and consider the justice of the situation, okay? These people came rolling in here with their machines and stuff, tear up our land, spill oil and gasoline everywhere. Then they find this ancient religious icon. The first thing they do is try to loot it. These aren't good people, and they got what was coming to them. Well, what should I do? I'll tell you what you what you do. Take the eye out of other eye out of the statue. What? I don't want to be a frog. No, don't worry about it. It won't curse you. What it'll do is make the original curse permanent. No take backs, no do over. That's justice, a tadpole. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll sweeten the deal. You can keep the emeralds. Heck, I'll make a necklace for you. You like necklaces? I still getting used to them. I ne have a neck myself. Well. Hmm. Do we want to fix the issue, or do we want to help the... I think we want to 
fix the issue? Those people clearly have a fur. Code space! I need to add it. It would be just for Fen, but I need to add a, um, a command for her to do um, a mid-sentence. Uh, do we want to uh, fix it? Let's fix it. No deal. I want to fix this. Well, considering that I haven't really figured out how to work these fists yet, I can't do much to stop you either way. But I'm warning you, if you put that eye back and you're going to find yourself on the wrong side of history, pal. Uh-huh. Mess with it. Okay, so I can still... Okay, so we're the missing eye. In the interest of full disclosure, I should point out that this is a one-way decision. If you mess with this idol, you won't be able to change your mind afterwards. So don't mess this up. Turn the missing eye. No, don't! You suck it. You suck at the missing emerald back into the statue. Both eyes flash with brilliant green light, then dim again. No, no, hop you! Hop you, you bastard! <laughs> you okay? My brain feels slimy. Gross. Hey, are you, uh, you? The original you? I'm the actual human guy, yeah. My name's Roger. Thanks for your help. I think I would have gone crazy if I'd been trapped as a frog for much longer. Though I guess there isn't a lot of practical difference between being a crazy frog and a sane one. No problem, Roger. I was happy to help. That's that's still true. We've got another problem. What's up? What's up? Yeah, see, I don't know how much you saw the situation at this quarry, but it is a really terrible place to work. It does seem kind of run down. It doesn't need to be, that's the thing. We turn a good profit, but the foreman refuses to spend any more than the absolute minimum in the facilities and wages. And meanwhile, he's eating caviar for lunch like he's John D. frickin' Rockefeller. Jeez. You should have seen his face when I showed him that aisle. His tongue hit the floor like a cartoon wolf. He's getting yacht catalogs in the mail, while us, us, us that do the actual work gotta take turns sleeping in one bed. Why don't you quit? We tried to start a union, but he just called them the Pinkertons to rough us up. We try to quit, it's the same deal. We can't even just walk out because he watches us like a hog. We decided to take our chances anyway, though. See that tunnel back there on the left? That comes out past the trees. If we snuck out at night, he wouldn't spot us. We'd be out of here and well on our way to town by morning. Planning to cross the swamp at night? It's not much of a plan, but it's the only plan we got. The only problem is that tunnel's full of flies. It's some kind of nest. Ah, and you need someone to clear out the tunnel for you? That's about the size of it, and the size of those flies is real big. Swell. I'll need to kill any maggots in there, too, so they don't come back. Ew. Haven't got anything to pay you with, but we'd really appreciate the favor. Well, okay. Let's go talk to everybody else, not that they're normal. Everything alright? I'm really thirsty I'm for some not reason. even going to. Which is weird, because water is practically the only thing we can get to, get to eat around here. Is it clean, at least? Calling it that would be a real stretch, but it's all right. Once your immune system gets acclimated. Uh, I grew this mustache to help filter it. Yeesh. Everything all right? My tongue hurts, and I got a kind of gross taste in my mouth. Oh, uh, mainly been eating shoe leather though, so that isn't really new. Well, it might be new. It might be new in a way. What? Uh, nothing. Everything okay? Oh, I don't like to complain, but I'm so tired. When I took this job as an office assistant, I never imagined I'd be in charge of all the cleaning and maintenance around the camp as well. And there's so much, and I'm only one person. Jeez, that's rough. And now I'm having these weird dreams about frogs. Honestly, it makes me regret giving up Latinum. Well, hopefully Roger's plan will work out. Oh, can I get into the... Probably shouldn't, yeah. Yeah. Looks up from the yacht catalog he's reading and scowls at you. Intimidating Stetson. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Muscle and Moxie. I don't have the right hat on. See as a well. guy wearing it. Oh. Sorry. It's right here, but still. See a guy wearing a hat like this? You think to yourself, this guy has a good sense of style and is probably about to punch me for no reason. Uh, we want the uncursed fedora. Uh, okay, we want that. 
We want the... Buy the Glockenhosen, because people are starting to kill us, so... Muscle and physical armor. Physical I think armor. that's actually better. Which one? The Gator Man skin pants. Alright. Okay, so that'll be good. Are you okay? That depends on whether you're real or I'm hallucinating you. I'm real. The frog thing, though, that was a hallucination, right? Uh, no, that was real, too. If you're about to tell me my shoelaces really are butterflies, I should warn you. I don't know how I'll react to that. Maybe you should go get some sleep. Alright, I guess we're gonna go clear those flies. Because, uh, I would rather help these people than the, uh, foreman. Whoa! Okay! I see what you're talking about! Fight them. Ew. Sacks of violence! Okay, so that's healing. Alrighty. Okay, who has... All of them have eight, so we'll do this on you. I'm going to hit you with this. Well, he's gone. Ow! You leave Vladimir alone! And going after Gabby. <laughs> he looks a tad polemical. The foreman, I mean. Oh, hating this part. Who's hating this part? Coat Space is hating this part. Oh, doesn't like flies? I don't blame you. The sound is actually ruining my ears. Oh, she's very poisoned. He's dead. There you go. You won. No unusually large flies on you. Destroy the horrible things. You're going to have to stomp them and squelch them, basically individually. It's going to be super disgusting. Would you like to read a full description of that, or shall we just move on? You want to skip it, don't you? <laughs> a wise move. You destroy the pile of maggots with a series of gross noises and unpleasant smells. You are now covered in maggot guts. The end. It's a hat. Yeah. It's a good hat, too. Oh, it exploded. Oh! It ex oh, it's pulsating! Oh, no. I didn't put it on. Hi. I did not equip you. I want my fedora back on. Yeah, I know. Hi, how's it? Uh, oh my god, don't come any closer. What are you covered in? Oh, oh this? this? Maggot guts. <laughs> well, thank you for clearing up the tunnel. Please leave this enclosed space and get some fresh air. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I was saying it for more for my benefit. Good luck with your escape plan. Puzzle and tired. Okay. Okay. So I think if we leave, they'll leave. I love the swamp. Do you? It put itself on. <laughs> did it put itself on? Uh, it did. Okay, so we need the moonshiner shack for the it distillery. It was not okay. I don't have enough. I don't have enough moxie. All right. That's odd. I did lose moxie because I was an idiot with the gators, but. Distill the wet fuel. Okay. Whoa. You light the fire and run the still for long enough to fix the fuel, but not quite long enough to cause your own death from smoke inhalation. Distill plain fuel. All right, let's leave. Wait, what was that? Oh. This pot has... Uh, yeah. that, that was the... It's a chamber pot. Yeah. Um, where was she? It put itself on. 
it moves, and it's it's altogether unpleasant. Hello, Gun. Okay, I got right. your fuel cleaned up. No, Shinola? There was any in there, I think I got it out. Let's have a look. She opens the can, pours a little into a wine glass, and swirls around while peering at it closely. Well, look at that! No legs at all! Oh, jeez, did I mess it up? No, no, that's a good thing. It means you got rid of all the water. Don't see any dirt in here, either. Nice work. Thanks. Uh, maybe I'll just walk away for now. So... Okay. So do I just leave and come back, or...? Is there... Can you get close to the plane? Can you do anything? Oh, you know, that's good. Consider your options. Uh, shovel and moxie. Okay. You examine the crash site carefully, walking all around it and tapping gently on this and that until you find the spot you're looking for. The perfect place to stand. Having found it, you wedge your shovel in beside the plane and deftly pry it out of the muck. Nicely done. Hi, I got your plane unstuck. I saw, that was a hell of a trick, I gotta say. I am duly impressed. Ah, shucks. She's still caked in mud and weeds and all that, but I guess it comes with the territory. In a real literal sense. Nothing a little elbow grease can't correct, plus maybe a little regular aircraft grease. I guess you're all set then. Looks like it. Got my plane, fuel, and runway all sorted out. Thanks a ton, I couldn't have done it without you. You know, you could have a career in aviation if you ever decide to give up. What do you do? I'd rather not attempt to explain it. Gotcha. I've had jobs like that. Well, I haven't got any meat on hand to pay you for your time, but here, let me give you this spare flight helmet as a souvenir. Let's see. Mysticality and Moxie. Oh, neat. Thanks. You earned it, pal. Keep her flying. Good luck. Bye. Oh. I love that. <laughs> Ooh, cool hat. Now we have the 11 locks. The black shape looms into view. At first, it's difficult to make out from the silhouette, but it seems to be a massive shadow brute. It doesn't immediately react to your presence. Perhaps it's facing away, although, again, it's hard to tell. From its movements, it seems to be eating something. There's another shape, a flappy bat-winged shape. Unfurls itself on the brute's shoulder and screeches noiselessly at you. The brute starts to turn around. Fight them. Oh. Sacks of violence! Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're gonna drop a piano on you. We're gonna hit you with this. So I feel like you're gonna be something that buffs. Headbutt my mosquito! Don't you attack my Gabby. Wow, he's got a really high defense. Cannot take more than five damage, physical. You won! You successfully banished the horrible creature back to where it came from. If only that were a little further away. Nice. Alright, the Dauphin house. Okay. Looks like this car oh, was left to rot. Unfortunately, it hasn't yet rotted enough, Nick, or rotted enough for you to get past the locked door. I don't have a coat hanger. Door is padlocked. Let me just see. That looks. Three is a hole in it. Conveniently, the hole is slightly larger than your hand. Honestly, for what else? For what is ostensibly a horror game, we've had way too few opportunities for you to stick your hand into a suspicious dark hole. Reach in. You slowly reach inside the dark hole. It's damp and ominous. And then... Aye! You find a key. Sorry, the screen wasn't really justified. Dolphin padlock key. Mossy. Hmm. But I have a padlock key. For a mossy lock. Hmm. The front door is uh, the front door of Dauphin Manor is unlocked. Apparently, Mr. Dauphin's love of padlocks was unrelated to basic home security. Snoopy had best hat. Let's see, 
Fansworth Dolphin, Goldilocks Dolphin, Beasley Dolphin, Died of Natural Causes, Natural Causes, Natural Causes, Natural Causes, okay. Hortense, Mopey, and Calpurnia. Okay. This couch faces a wall. It must have been the Dauphin family's punishment couch. Okay, this one has a lock. Fancy store-bought radio. A fancy serving cart. It's one of those serving carts they use in posh hotels, and in posh manor houses, apparently, with big silver platter covered with a dome-shaped lid. Just the right size to hide a severed head or a roast of some kind. You cautiously reach out and grip the handle, then take a deep breath. Slowly, you lift the lid, tilting your head to peek underneath. Oh, it's empty. Oh. Oh. Enough fine china to feed an army, if only you could get past the padlock. And if you were in command of the world's hoity-toityest military. Uh, oh. One of those old fridges that people sometimes got locked into accidentally and asphyxiated? Oh wait, that's still all fridges these days. Maybe that's why it's padlocked. Unlock it? Click. Fridge is empty of both expired food and expired hide-and-seekers. You do find a key inexplicably frozen into a block of ice, though. Key in a block of ice. The oven works. Okay. Can of fruit cocktail. The oven is full of gross, steamy swamp worms. Ugh. In Pepperidge's father's house, there are many drawers. Uh, what about the sink? More fish. Uh, we got a padlock. Sir. We got another padlock in here. A paper clip, a ba battery, and dire corn holder. Muscle plus six physical damage and heals you for three HP. Hmm. So it's a life steal. What do you? Nope. House is com particularly completely flooded. You'll need some kind of breathing apparatus if you want to go down. There you go. Hang on just a second. I gotta. Oh, it looks like a hot bath. I will BRB. What's up? Again. Ugh. Oh. Really kind of annoyed. I can't really see the chat at all. Because I keep seeing her get, like, mid sentence, but it's not letting me load the module. Oh, let's do that. That's interesting. Huh. You could load up my phone to do it that way. Okay. Well, I got my chat up. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll wait for her to get back. I'm guessing she's using... <laughs> Rolling chat gathers no Ross. Oh. So what are you up to? I was. So what number are you guys up to? Because I wasn't able to keep track of it. Five just for the stream. Um, I have my phone off to the side because my chat is not loading on the computer, so or my monitor. It's like it failed to load the module, so I just wanted to be able to see the chat so I can see what's causing hyphen to um, malfunction halfway through sentences. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Been a long day. A good day, though. 
met Lastus, did Bloodborne earlier, beat three more bosses. Wrong order, of course, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, that was that. Um, figuring out what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, because uh, if she's involved, we'll be doing a throwback, so it'll either be more Donkey Kong 64 or Yoshi's Island. If it's a solo, it's between, like, five different games. So, Fen, when were you having this uh, meeting with your friend? And I do hope it goes well, but I do also hope you take yourself into account first. Okay, just waiting for Hyphen to get back. Still waiting. Nope. Right. Of course. Yeah, I hope it goes well for you. Uh, I have a few early going along with my channel, and I know you've asked for it, and I've been terrible about it, but also my schedule always changes, so it's really hard to... I've been trying to... I need to actually make a sit-down... Oh, sit down and make schedules uh, for week, and then if something changes, I can post that afterwards. But I do need to sit, try and sit down and actually make schedules. I'm just terrible about it. Alright, so we have two of the padlocks, right? Yeah, so we need 11. There's got to be one in the car, too. So I might have to leave and buy a hanger from someone. Still waiting. There we go. Alright. Sorry, you know what happens when you drink a lot of water? <laughs> That's what happens when you drink a lot of water. Well, Wife Quit Wednesday has a set time. so what we're uh, Nothing much, was just chatting. Um, wanted to tell Fen the good luck for her. Ha she's having an uh, engagement with that friend she's been talking about in our Discord. I see. I told her I wish her the best, but also remember that she comes first. And the friend is just going to cause problems. If anybody needs disappearing. We know people. We know people. Uh, the dolphins use one toilet at a time, just like the rest of us. Flush it. Hmm. It doesn't work. Maybe something's strong in the tank? Oh. Well, here's your problem. There's a key stuck to the float valve hinge flange. We got a uh, padlock key. It's wet. <laughs> This medicine cabinet is securely locked. Maybe it's full of deadly poisons. Uh, we can fish or we can just drop the key in. Dropping the key. Okay, so... A nice warm bath causes the ice to relax and it drops the key with a grateful sigh. <sighs> Padlock key. Okay. Okay, yeah. we got mercury eye drops. And Burtworth's finest tooth wax. Hmm. Alrighty. I have <laughs> pigs. <laughs> That's true. It's... Click. Okay. Whoa. Hi. Okay. Gabby, where are you going? Some dirt in the planter were presumably a plant in the planter once stood. Okay, hold I wanted to... See if there's anything. Doors padlocked, doors padlocked. So there's three rooms here. This is the only one unlocked. Sorry. Okay. Oh, we got a coat hanger. Oh, good. We need that for outside. Yes, we do. Awesome. I didn't know if we would have to actually leave the area, go buy one. Okay, look at the toy box. Toy box? Oh, thank you. Toy box is disappointingly empty. Not even a BB gun or a creepy doll. The no. Elsewhere. No. We already discussed this. We never found her. A shelf full of books about sports. The titles are too boring for me to even tell you what they are. 
This nightstand has one empty drawer and one locked drawer. An eerie, ghostly sound is coming from inside it. Wait, we have the coat hanger, so we need to go outside. Yeah, because there might be a key in the car. Yep. Uh, where's the door? There's the door. Jimmy it open. Okay. You unlock the car, destroying the hanger in the process. You search the car. It's empty except for the glove box, which turns out to actually be a key box. The key inside is not the key to this car, and if you have a sense of humor like mine, you'll agree that that's a real shame. Okay, tarnished key. Okay. Click. You pop the lock off, and the door unlatches with an ominous creak. Enter the garage. Hello. A workbench covered in tools, all rusted past the point of usefulness, even as bludgeons. Cinder blocks are totally waterlogged. Wait a Wait second. Wait a second. Glowing ooze. I'm... Yes. Old Dauphin never got sick of tires. So he actually never got tired? I hate you. <laughs> I'm tired. Doors padlocked, doors padlocked. Okay. Check under the pillow. Shiny. Hmm. Nope, not that one. Nope. Yes. Unlock it. Got a padlock. Okay, what are we up to? We're halfway. Six. We're over halfway. The cedar chest is locked and easily big enough to hide a skeleton in, or a whole body. Okay. It's a fancy vanity, which appeals to your pedestrian vanity. Radium Rouge. Hmm. A fancy nightstand. Junk mail, paper clip, and a disappointing padlock key? Hmm. Okay, well, Disappointing key. Okay. <laughs> you know Amongst all that you find what looks like a miniature radio car from Driftwood Radio small enough to carry, amazing Maybe if you listen to it periodically it'll warn you about any nearby monsters that are actually manifestations of your Oh no Or maybe it'll just give you the baseball scores That is a, that is a great homage But that's terrifying <laughs> Um, that is these first two Silent Hill games. If you have a little sidebar on radio, if a monster starts getting close, it starts producing static. Lovely. So it had great, it had great audio design. <laughs> yeah, you got fired. I noticed that. You did. I would say you could just play the game yourself then, but... <laughs> There's a jewelry box on the table. Hmm? Where? Oh. Oh, hello. Hamethyst. One muscle, 30% oh. item drop, doubles the healing of grit teeth. That's pretty good. Hamethyst. Sweet Jesus. Wait, does that do anything? I don't even have an of additional teeth. I don't even have it. Equipped, it's just on. Maybe it'll tell you when you have a padlock. Or when you have a key to a padlock. Or maybe it'll just... Make noise? Yeah. You assume that Dauphin was superstitious enough not to store any padlocks on the east side of his attic? It's how you get family curses, probably. Lots of boxes, but none of them say padlocks on them, and you're not motivated to search them otherwise. Who knows what grisly things you might find. Okay. Oh, 
and none of my emotes are loading. Are they not? Boo. Oh, we lost Twitchy. Mm. So we can actually clean effects off. Mm. Okay, so we can still do that. Okay, so we got experience for that now. What is that doing? We have, where is it? We have seven, so we still need four more. So there's one there. I don't understand what we're supposed to be doing with the radio. That's buried. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. What's up? The basement of this swamp house is predictably completely flooded. You'll need some sort of breathing apparatus. Wait a minute. Do I have a diving helmet? No. Oh, maybe this will work. Nope. Encore. Encore fedora. Anything but the maggot. Mm -hmm. Yes or no. So we're missing an item then. So we already did that. Okay. No one makes the occasional static noise on the stream. Kind of like in the early mid 2000s when you'd be receiving a call or you would make your speakers and it would make your speakers make weird noises. I'm wondering if it's the phone or if it's actually my computer making the static noises. You got a fish skeleton. Oh my. Okay, well now the phone's off for now. I'm out of the loop. I don't know. If I'm supposed to be doing something with this, or... Oh! You hold the radio up to your ear. You hear a little girl's voice shouting, Mom! Mom! A terrible ghoul stole the key to my nightstand! A woman replies, Now, dear, don't call your brother Ralphie a terrible ghoul. He probably hid the key in the potted plant in the hallway like he always does. Those voices so eerie. Dirty. So predictable, that Ralphie. Daddy's gonna kill Ralphie. Okay. Got a creepy music box. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. You hold the radio up to your ear. A boy's voice asks, Gee, Pop, where do you get all the treasure? Is it a cursed pirate horde stolen from the ruins of an ancient civilization? Haha, <laughs> no, son, nothing like that. Just sound investments in perfectly normal and moral financial markets. Huh. Okay, so I think each one... Each floor probably has something... Oh, no. Each, Each room, room has something. You hear a man's voice scolding angrily. For goodness sakes, Agnes, you're obsessed. Obsessed with taping things to the backs of paintings, just like your aunt. One-eyed Calpurnia Dauphin. You probably die peacefully in your sleep just like she did. Okay, so there's one on the back end of... A painting. A sticky key. Classic. Sticky keys! Uh, what had one? Here? Nope. All these are good. Sticky. What else had one? 
Um, that nightstand. Didn't we do the nightstand? Oh, no. That had the creepy music box. That's right. Stairs to the attic. Oh, that did. Okay, maybe it's the one outside. Because there's still one in the, uh... Some say that the most powerful tool is a padlock. It's really more the opposite of a tool, though, because it obstructs rather than facilitates what you're trying to do. A oh. handsaw and a rusty Dauphin padlock key. Okay. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Was it for... Is the rusty one for the china set? Yes. You know what? I don't care what kind of HR violations I commit. <laughs> Plus four to magical weapon attacks. Okay. You deserved it, ma'am. It's entirely possible that this is a gravy boat and that you're just using it upside down, but don't let that stop you. Fine. <laughs> yeah, it just, it's starting to just equip the new hats on its own. That's kind of hilarious, though. I still like my uncursed fedora. I like the extra health. Oh, gosh. Sorry. That's alright. We only have, like, two left to find. I think it was in here. Nope. Okay, so we did that. We did this one. There's nothing upstairs. Let's go in here. You hold the radio up to your ear. A ghostly voice wails, Who stole my golden arm? Then a boy's voice says, Ah, oh, come on, sis. Don't you know any other ghost stories? Is it the only one you ever tell? You hold the radio up to your ear. Remember, Ralphie, says a woman's voice, you mustn't ever open the door to strangers. A boy's voice replies, Okay, Mom, because it might be a kidnapper or a murderer, right? Oh, I'm sure that would never happen, but it might be a vacuum cleaner salesman, and we already have one. Okay. Did one of them pop up? You hold the radio up to your ear. A man's voice says, Ralphie, why on earth do you keep flushing this fish zester down the commode? Have you been possessed by some otherworldly or demonic force? No, Dad, I thought it would just be a funny place to hide it, comes the reply. So what are we at? We are at... Where is it? We need one more padlock. <laughs> a lot of running around in circles for this quest line. I got the perfect song. Indeed. Okay. You hold the radio up to your ear. You hear a woman's voice saying, Please be careful around the kitchen knives, Rebecca. They're very sharp. I keep them that way because, counterintuitive though it may be, dull knives actually cause more accidents. Yes, mother, I understand, a little girl's voice replies. Okay. Still not getting anything to help. <sighs> We've already done this, but I can't... I can't think of what else it could be. I mean, it has to be down in the basement, but you can't get there. Okay, this is that. That's the potted plant. We've already done that. Fish zester? We've already done this. Yes, a fish zester. I, I don't know. Nothing helpful here. Can I get down? Thank you. Okay, that was... Uh, is there anything in here I have Fish have zest? I know, Raz. is news to me, too. Okay. Nothing there. What have you been in here? Okay. Did we try talking? Wait, we didn't try talking outside. 
You hold the radio up to your ear. A woman's voice says, Clarence, I'm so grateful that our family has never suffered from supernatural curses, serial murder, demonic corruption, or plague. I agree, dear. We certainly have been fortunate, and doubtless will remain so. You hold the radio up to your ear. A woman's voice gasps. Oh my, Clarence, why are you lying on the floor under your workbench? Are you alright? Were you attacked by a burglar or an axe murderer? Calm down, Agnes. I'm fine. I'm just practicing changing the oil on our car. Got it. Oh, okay, cool. A loose key? Well, there's only one left. It's this one. This one. Okay. Perfumed Wedding Veil. Moxie and Stench Armor. Have you ever get married at the city dump? Uh, who? He is sunken, in... Sunken Boxcar. Yeah. Okay, can't do that. That's nice and all, but you have places to be. My whole life has been a lie. I know. Hi, Pepperidge. Hello again, Ross. What can I do you for? Found your father's padlocks. Thank you so much. You didn't run to my grandmother by any chance, did you? What? No. Was she supposed to be there? No, that would have been highly unusual if she had been, considering she died more than 30 years ago. Here's your padlocks. Marvelous. Once I've reaccustomed myself to standing on level ground, I'll be on my way. There's a big hubble camp near Ocean City that you might be interested in. I can give you directions. Oh, excellent. I think we'll head that way now. Perhaps I'll see you there. Also, we haven't talked to any of the hobos in a while. No, we haven't. Map. Uh, so this entire episode was cleaning up this area. We haven't even gone to the new area yet. Yeah. Uh, oops, I wanted to go bus stop. Back to Ocean City. Uh, map. To the hobo camp. Oh, we can give him a music lesson this time. Yeah, let's do it. Look, friends, you're going about this all wrong. Don't you know anything about modern music? What's important is the notes that you don't play. That, what mean you? The notes play we not. I can see you have a lot to learn. You're better start by practicing not playing any notes at all. Then once you get good at that, you can focus on learning when which specific notes not to play. Hmm. I see that this modern music a tricky business is. The goblins stare at their glockenspiels, carefully not playing in them. As you leave, you hear one accidental plink, followed by an urgent shushing and apologies. <laughs> Shh! Don't, sorry, sorry. Whew. Okay, uh... What? Who's dead? There's an old gravestone here. What the heck? Pepperidge was... Dauphin died 150 years ago? <laughs> so uh, he was a ghost. Himself. Then Was that man in the boxcar? Hello again. <laughs> oh, did I sorry? I'm dreadfully sorry. Pepperidge, you're alive? Well, yes. Was that in question? He's still speaking in italics. This gravestone says... Oh, I see. No, no, no. This was my great-grandfather's. I was named after him. I decided to bring it with me as another souvenir, in addition to my father's padlock collection. Well, that makes, uh, sense. Sure. <laughs> <He's> still... <laughs> it's Pepperidge Dauphin. Looks like he's still adjusting to orthogonal life. How's it going, Pepperidge? What? Well, it's a very nice little community they've got here. A marvelous first step on my new path as a world traveler. Nice. I hope that goes well for you. I'm quite certain my, my travels will, complete will be completely free of danger and violent misfortune. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Do you know any hobo code? I've learned since my tr since my arrival. Yes, the least I can do after the help you've given me. Here, I'll write it down. I don't really understand this one. You skip. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I don't really understand this one. He takes the paper, rotates it about thirty degrees, and hands it back. Ah, got it. Actually, I've got nothing else. Ah, sorry about that. That's quite all right. No need to apologize. Okay, so then we also have...
Oh, hello! Thanks for pointing me here. It's been great. Nice. Yeah, I bet everyone's really glad to have a doctor here around. Yep, although we've got a pretty robust lot here, so there hasn't been anything really, really interesting for me to do yet. But, you know what they say, every unremoved appendix is basically a ticking time bomb. He rubs his hands together in excited anticipation. Can you spare some first aid supplies? Sure, here you go. Use them in good health. No, wait, that would be wasteful. Wait until you're in bad health. Rhino bomb. And an activated charcoal briquette. Okay, thanks, Doc. So you don't teach me any hobo code? I like your hat. Why, That's... thank you. I grew it myself. Okay, I think we've done this one, actually. I can imagine. Leave. Okay. Okay, let's go in... The grub. Let's see. Hi again! Hi, thanks for helping me before. Oh. I'm afraid I can't pay you back yet. We don't really have anything to make decent booze out of. At the moment, I'm just using random kitchen scraps and weeds, and I can't serve you that in good conscience or good ethics. No, don't worry about it. Okay. So we've already talked to her. Oh, there's Moss, Moss Man. Hi, Clyde! Oh, hey! Ross, right? And thanks for pointing me to this place. It's pretty great. Everyone's real friendly like. Nice. So you aren't missing the salt suit of the swamp? Nope. Turns out that's less important to me than just being able to sit and still and not do much. And helping out by growing herbs through the kitchen here. Do you know any hobo code you could teach me? Sure, I picked up a couple signs. Here's the one for keep off the grass. Thanks. I don't know what hobo code we're at now. Um. I wonder if that board tells you. In the cryptology Oh, cart. you know, that might be right. The cryptography cart, I mean. Okay. A bunch of them are blacked out. Okay, so no. So, huh? Well, it's all Greek to me. Okay. Okay, so these are all... Mm. Okay, we've done all these. I was hoping it would actually. All right, well we did all that. Um, so we didn't even start the new area yet, but we no, did. No, we didn't. But we did complete that one. The entire, the swamp was huge, actually. Yeah, it was. Cause like we go here, and you have. Maybe 15? There was like 25 areas in the swamp, wasn't there? Thereabouts. I wasn't really counting, though. It is, however, 12.58. So, yeah. we did say we weren't sure what we were going to do today, so we did finish up the swamp. Yeah. So, at the very oh. least, we did that. Mm hmm Do you want to head to the last area so we get so that's where we start out? Yeah. Okay. So, Gray County. Chapter. Heartland of Darkness. Ha! <laughs> mm hmm. This old man is fiddling intently with some kind of clockwork thingamajig. Excuse me? Huh? He looks up at you with the squint of someone who isn't used to focusing on anything more than six inches away. Can I ask you something? I don't get in a lot of conversation practice, young man. The last I knew, it was standing to lead off with an introduction. Oh, sorry, my name's Ross. Wendlin Lugalty, what's your question? Oh. Wendlin continues to tinker with his device. What's that you're working on? Oh, just a little thing I've been keeping myself busy with. What does it do? Nothing on account of it being broken. Typically that's what makes such a thing interesting, but I need a replacement part. There ain't much here around that. What kind of part? Mainspring. Not usually a problem, but I need a counterclockwise one. Kind of rare. Maybe I can find you one. Well, now I ain't expecting much, but if you manage that, I would be would re ugh, manage that. I would appreciate it. Is there a, a clock parts store nearby? I used to buy a parts of a doll maker named Gilmore. But that rat Hellstrom brought out his mortgage and foreclosed on him. Ran the fellow off with a without even a buyer leave. At least I assume that's what happened. Nobody, no idea where he went. 
house is still there, but it's real spooky now. Spooky? What happened? Well, nothing really. Just when there was a fellow there acting like talking dolls are normal, they seem normal. When he ain't there, they don't. Anyway, it's down the road a spell if you feel like having a look-see. It's the old Gilmore place. Of course. Remember, what I need is a counterclockwise mainspring. Okay, I'll go look. Okay, ask about Hellstrom. Who's that Hellstrom guy you mentioned? Ugh, that fat cat oil baron what's been going around buying up every patch of dirt big enough to drill a well into. I want to talk about him. he get his soon enough. What's that mean? Don't mean nothing, just an old man talking old man crap. Huh. Lovely well, well, seeing you. Anyway, it is 1 a.m. Do we want to talk to these people out here what really quick? What a backwards way to fix a clock. Do we want to talk to these people first, or... Nah. Nah? Alright. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. I have another HR violation to commit. Well, I'm going to switch this over to intermission. And uh, we're going to... You just menu. had to. You just had to. Okay, we're going to go... I know, that's what you, I know that's exactly what you were doing. Triple digits! There you go! We made 200. So, Last of Darkness did not get what he wanted. No. <laughs> but hey, you did it. That's an achievement. I'm trying to... Aww! <laughs> ben, thank... Whoa! What? The, what? 500! <laughs> In celebration. Sweet lord above! Okay. Ben! Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> you... Most definitely did not have to do that. All right, is anybody fun on right now? Let's see. Good lord. Thank you so much. Okay, but I mean, hey, yeah, you you made it. <laughs> You've been fired one hundred times that we've kept record of. Mm -hmm. I was about to say you need to add that little part because yeah, that's kind of like say, the... there are there are other times I'm pretty sure that I've fired you and then I haven't I haven't actually. You know. Mm, trying to see. Hang um, on a second. Gravity's on. <clears throat> I'm props is on. I don't know how he would react to a minor. The gravity thing. is on? Huh? Uh, different gravity. I have, oh. I have gravity wolf. Okay, I was about to say. Not, not gravity zone. <laughs> Wait, wait, who's sending who's sending all the Look at all those dino Oh my god, no, I closed it. Look at all uh, those dinosaurs. Um I'm trying to think. We did Dark Psalm last week. Uh Hexhound is playing D V D with the anniversary. Oh, it was code. Bronto Superiority. Mm -hmm. Um Trying to think, is there anybody? Geez, a lot of people playing Overwatch 2 right now. Um, Demonologist, Dead by Daylight. I don't know, man. It's like. But should we just cut off? I didn't. I, I didn't. Rate... Just, I think we just call it for today. All right. I didn't get to. I didn't get to rate anybody earlier as well, but that was me. It happens. Um, but thank you everyone very much for joining in today. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We made serious progress in this game. Actually, I can't even say we made progress because we were stuck in the area from last time. It's but true. We did get everything done in that area from what it looks that like. That we did. Boom. So, that all. <laughs> uh, ba -la -la -la. Uh, but thank you all very much. Fen, you really didn't have to do that. You've done so much for our channel already. You do not have you, to do that. Like, honestly, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. But uh, we love you all. Um, we're going to go ahead and get off to bed. <laughs> You are so very welcome, Razzy. And it's, uh, it's, it's honestly, it's great to see you anytime that we actually get to see mm -hmm. you. I don't even care if you lurk. Just say you lurk. We'll be extremely excited to have you on. And we hope you we entertain you and make you a little happier. Yeah. So, um, but thank you all very much. Uh, and thank you for being here, Code Space. Thank you, Code. Thank you, Fen. Thank you, Raz. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Lastus, even though I know you've already gone to bed, but hey. Well, thank you for joining in for both streams today as well. Yeah, for real. Actually, 
fat bit badge on her. Name. Yes. <laughs> Well, she's been she's been fired a hundred times. It's well she worth it for. She has been fired a hundred times. It's a milestone. But uh, thank you all very much for joining in tonight. Um, we will have another stream going later today, meaning for actual day because it's one a.m. But yeah, um, it'll either be a throwback Thursday between the two of us. So we'll either return of Donkey Kong sixty four or Yoshi's Island. That's U.S. Eastern Standard Time. Depending BTW. on depending on how she feels. Um, if not a throwback thursday it will be something with me so we'll look into darkest dungeon marvel midnight suns uh probably not bloodborne because i already did it today or something completely random so we'll see about that um but thank you all we just do that kind of grab bag thing again where we put everything into a mug and you just kind of reach in and pull one out do you want to do retro or just anything that i'm doing randomly because <laughs> i'll have to figure out i'll have to have like anything on standby in case i have to pull it out We'll, we'll figure something out. But there will be a stream later today. Uh, later today. It'll be a good time. If it's us, it'll start about 3 o'clock. If it's just me, look into about 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If it's with her, it'll be through between 3 and 4 o'clock. I like how you just kind of Boink. put your finger like on my head. Well, it's easy for me to do. I have long arms. Thank you. Boop. Ah! <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you all very much. We love all of you. I'm sorry I couldn't really keep up with chat as easy as I could. Um, considering, my... yeah, considering if you looked over here, there's like a little ghost there, which is kind of cute. But it says failed to load module, which is less cute. Um, something I could do is how I have this chat bar on here. Mm -hmm. I could actually include that on our mainstream, just have it... Um... Have the background be um, trans That's transparent. That's not a bad idea. Have it have it be transparent, and I can have it on the side of the stream. It's honestly not a bad idea. So we can work on that later. Yeah. I can I can work on that tomorrow. But thank you all very much for joining in. A lot of fun today. Made a new friend. Uh, two people resub today. Boop the snoot. Oh God. No. <laughs> I will bite you. Yeah, it's not the first time. But um. <laughs> TMI. Well, no, you've I've done that before, and you've bit my finger before. That's true. Um, but um, thank you all very much for joining in. Uh, these always seem to be the most fun streams, and the ones that I tend to like have everyone show up, and I do appreciate it. You oh yeah, it did show up. her um, bits did show up down here. I love that. Yay! Uh, thank you all very much. We will be back. <laughs> Ghostface has a horror face. <laughs> Uh, but thank you all very much. Uh, we will be back on later today. Depending on how she feels, will depend depend on what we play. I might just pull out a puzzle game and do something mental. So I'm depends on how you feel. I'm mental. Well, I st <laughs> we all still love you. But thank you all very much. I always start rambling at this, but it's is because I do appreciate everything you guys do, and I do love you guys. Uh, the end stream's over there, so... I know, I'm just... Moving that down. Yeah. Um, it was annoying me. Uh, that it wasn't keeping up? No. Yeah. So, to everyone on here, thank you all very, very much. Um, as I said, we'll be back on later today. I will be back on Friday and Saturday afternoon, at least, as well. I don't know your work schedule, so I can't figure that out yet. I have... I am, like, nine, I think... Either so 9 or 9.30 to 9.45. It's going to be a long-ass day. You have a, you, know, you have very long shifts. So I will definitely be on Friday and Saturday as well after I get off my shift. So I expect some longer streams then as well, solo. Um, let's see what, We'll see what we can get done because I am still working on my challenge. Um, but thank you all very much. Sorry for the technical difficulties. It was out of our control. I'm not sure... Um, what happened, if it was internet or if it was our stream labs. You do also have, like, 200,000 tabs open, so maybe you ought to do something about that. Well, that doesn't do... That. I have other things that are, Norton keeps saying, like, is doing that. Tech issue happens, it's all... Yeah, I know. Um, sometimes it's just the internet outside on my computer, and I have to figure out why, but that'll be for another day. But, thank you all, Raz. It's great to see you, Fen. It's great to have you back. Uh, good luck with your um, little get together with your friend on Friday. Code Space, always love having you on. Absolutely. Uh, Faye. Faye. 
No, I was like, I was trying to think of um, the new guy, our new friend as well, Lastus. I know you're already asleep, but thank you very much for your help on uh, Bloodborne today as well. Uh, I had a lot of fun help having you help me out <laughs> when you told me you hit the wrong, you did the wrong boss <laughs> first. It's wrong... like I still beat it. I mean, yeah. I would have, I would have had an easier time going with the other one first, but still. Uh, anyway, gonna cut out. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you later, everyone. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow or later tonight. Bye.